fresh. Bright and wonderful. Friends and great musicians. Lush. Intimately connected. Fantastic. Challenging. Exciting. It's the best. The Crossing has a really special place in my heart because the mission is so incredible. Um, bringing this kind of music to people who are ready to hear it and for them to experience it as passionately as we experience it um, as the singers is just an incredible experience. I think the thing that's so awesome about The Crossing is that the majority of the people in there could have solo ambitions and could represent their voices that way but they've dedicated themselves to singing ensemble music. You know, every time I get a uh, packet of music from Donald, and I know it's, it's an upcoming concert, and I get, I get that packet, it's, I'm waiting for it like it's Christmas morning, because I know that he spent, you know, his whole year digging to the center of the earth to find this great music that, like, totally enhances all of our lives. I'm a choral music teacher, so I sing lots of older repertoire, so to be able to sing new music that's a reflection of who we are today as a society, as musicians, as people, it's really, really exciting. With new music, you hear new things and you do new things, and it's just almost like a new relationship, being in a new relationship. Uh, um, it's fresh, it's new, it's invigorating. Do you get a chance to put your own stamp on something? which is always exciting, and you also get to decide you know, what's going to be the music of your time. Whatever you perform then becomes the music that your, you know, your age is known by. I love singing new music because nothing makes you feel more a part of a living and vibrant art than something that was actually just written, just created. No one else has had a chance to touch it or have any impression on it yet, and there's just something really thrilling about that. It gives you a great sense of accomplishment singing something that no one has sung before. We are getting to do what we've been daydreaming about for five years, which is working with these composers who we've admired all this time. You know, they, they were the guys that we first started talking about, and here they are writing pieces for us. Every single person in this group is a fantastic musician. Um, there's not one person who you cannot rely upon for you know, a pitch or a rhythm or, or anything like that. But more importantly, it's, it's, it's also about um, being able to find the, the, the emotional center of the music. So much of, of just hearing what goes on around me and how I fit, even with you know, the people right beside me, we could all three be singing a completely different note. And it's just getting that into my ear and, and, and into my body and knowing that this is what that's gonna sound like. It takes a lot of preparation on our part um, by ourselves at home, note, picking out notes and figuring out how we're gonna get entrances. But then a lot of it starts to make more sense when we're all together. I tell you, one of my favorite moments is actually that first rehearsal that we do get together after a hiatus for some time and in, in a matter of minutes uh, we're able to lock in with one another. You know, the interpretation is so different from let's say a Renaissance style or Baroque style, even 20th century style, and um, it's just because of the rhythm, I suppose, that's really underneath it all, it, it just creates this whole new understanding of choral singing. It is the most uh, pristine choral situation one can imagine. I always feel like I have the luckiest job because I get to play a starting pitch or accompany them lightly, but then I get to just sit back and listen as these beautiful choral creations uh, find, their, find their way and you know, get on their feet. A three-hour rehearsal is longer than most rehearsals for other organizations, but it seems to fly by because we're always focused and we're always working on the next thing and there's never a chance to get bored. Donald trusts his singers, he trusts his musicians, and he understands that there are sometimes he gets out of our way and there are sometimes he, we need to follow him and it, so it's a, a give and take and it's, it's about reciprocity. Even when we laugh, in the process, in terms of the fact that we know it will come together someday, but it's just a total wreck because it's so hard or it's so challenging or whatever, they're just amazingly brave and we start over again. And for me, 
that's an incredible joy to face a bunch of people who go like, yeah, well, th we're on it. Since The Crossing at least primarily started as a, a group of friends, uh, it's a much tighter knit group than most groups in which I sing. Um, and I think there is something in the quality of the music that comes from such a deep level of friendship. It's the only place that I get to make music. There are so many cherished moments in these process, and you know, the process of rehearsal and concerts, and you know, each one I think is irreplaceable.